Hey y'all, it's Katie. Today we're going to be doing a cheater's version of chili. I'm not doing all the extra spices, all that good stuff. All you need is some hamburger meat. I'm using a pound and a half because I am doubling this recipe, hence why I have five cans of tomatoes, two cans of kidney beans, and two packets of chili mix. McCormick to me is the best. I've used several different kinds, but what you're gonna start out doing, mine's kind of frozen a little bit, but you just, you brown your hamburger meat. If you don't know how to brown hamburger meat, that's, I can't tell you how to do that here, but we're gonna brown it up for a little bit while that's going. You can also add onions if you would like. I already have the crock pot going. We're gonna pour in the tomatoes. If I make it for just my husband and myself, I usually make a big can of petite diced and a small can. Um, I don't have the petite diced ones with me today except for one can, so I'm just using regular diced. It doesn't really matter, they're kind of all the same. And you may think it's really tomato-y, but it won't be. Like, you have to have a little bit. I'm using light red kidney beans. You don't have to use light red, you can use dark red you can use one or the other they look really light in this light I'm going to tell you that right now and then I'm putting two packets because like I said I'm doubling it two packets of the McCormick chili seasoning I have also used the hot chili seasoning and it's not really hot it has no extra spice to me and then we're just going to stir this up like so it's really simple you don't add any water you don't add any more liquid because as the day goes on and you're, you have the crock pot going and all the juices get flowing in here, you won't need it. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar because I don't know if your mom ever told you, but mine told me that you add a tiny bit of sugar to anything tomato based. Like when I make spaghetti, I add a little bit of sugar to it. That way it cuts down on the acidity of the tomatoes. So that's going to go right there. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start frying this up. There's not really much reason why you do this other than mine was frozen. So I'm basically cooking it. But you don't, I don't know, I've never really tried to cook it even though it sits all day in your crock pot. I don't I would still brown it some. I mean, you don't want it to look gray, but at least just cook your hamburger meat. You don't want to get any kind of food poisoning from uncooked meat going in there, especially if you're giving it to kids or anything. Um, but like I said, this is a pound and a half. I normally do a pound, but I'm doubling it. And you don't, unless you want it super meaty, you go for it. You can use any kind of tomatoes you want. I'm just telling you mine, but it is a super drizzly rainy day. Let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can see out there. Super drizzly, rainy. So nothing better than having some chili cooking in the crock pot all day long. And once it's done you can have some grilled cheese from the, the oven. Alright, it's been a few more minutes and as you can see it's kind of getting there. I only have a couple hunks still. Only because, like I said, it, I used frozen out of the freezer and I had to defrost it and it, it didn't all get defrosted, but it's browning up nicely. I could probably put it in there, but I'm going to let these, these couple little hunks right here cook for a few more minutes and then we'll put it in our chili. Alright, so it's basically all browned up. I like my hunks of meat very tiny. Um, I don't know why. I've made it with some chunkier meat, but I just like mine tiny. That way they all fit in your spoon and don't have a humongous, you know, chunk of meat or whatever. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to come over here. We're going to lift our lid up. And pour. I pour it all in. You can drain some, but there's not a whole lot of fat in this one. So, we got that gonna stir it all sorry for the the fog I'm gonna stir it all up it doesn't look nice and yummy yet but I promise you you let this sit all day on low and you will have some amazing dinner thank you guys for watching let me know if
if you have any suggestions, and I will see you later.